Hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. We've got another round here against 1372. We better win this. Ian Adair. If we lose it, the MMR is going down. Again, any individual round can go either way, but you really need to keep some uh, some momentum, right? You can't just immediately go on a lose streak. I love a supply specialist. I like fangs and storm callers. It's a fun way to play, but how do we not take crawlers? Crawlers, storm callers, absolute goaded. Then the thing to actually get here might end up being rhinos. It might end up being rhinos. And if it is rhinos, then I don't actually want to buy arc lights. Well, maybe I do want to buy some arc lights just for like that real like rear guard mission. Like, you know, you go like right here, right here. You go missile dudes kind of center line here. And those arc lights will end up helping us if things filter through in ways that we don't want. And then you guys here, I'm hoping we'll kind of just do like wave tactics. Uh, maybe one slightly forward. Because we want to get them like stuck on our crawlers, right? And then our arc lights can basically counter everything that exists right now, but it's just a question if we want to do that or end up going in for rhinos. Because rhinos with some armor would be insanely good. And it would keep the opponents kind of pinned down for a while. Here you can see is like our missiles are kind of doing the work here. And then our arc lights are actually bailing. <laughs> they're not helping. But hey, they're going to try and get a kill. And thankfully, in the time that they do that, looks like we're going to finish these guys off. So again, the arc lights were absolute like monsters in that round but we are a speed specialist so it makes me want to go for something more interesting giant units range by 35 but lower attack range by 35 but lower attack is not bad it costs 50 bucks but let's uh let's double down on arc lights just because they are kind of they are a catch-all counter unit right now and we're going to believe in that for now. And by double down, I do mean triple. Triple down. And then we'll see what they go for next. Right now, let's just stick to the counter. He might go for something like air units. He might get some range. Interesting. He did go for the range. That makes that uh, armor enhancement all the more stronger. Um, he did get subsidized... Uh, Mustang, so I expect him to get a lot of them. So armor is going to be basically key all the time. Some missiles inbound, doing good work. The extended range is a bit nasty. Thankfully, we have the speed bonus. So we can actually, like, close distance. But without armor, they are chewing us up. At least our missile volleys, every time they connect, are pretty insanely good. And they should be pretty slow to eat through this, so I'm believing in our missiles. Storm callers, I'm telling you, man, even when they're bad, they're good. Top one for damage, I think. So, just showing you the good stuff. Extended range storm callers. They don't need the extra damage, uh, because right now they are a crowd control unit for me. Absolutely. Tech specialist, I'm going to take it just because I literally have just been talking about buying armor. And on top of that, I was thinking about getting incendiary rounds, but I want to buy two units. So let's get another two arc lights. One on this side, one on this side. And let us get them the health benefit. So now they have armor and health. Looks like they're going for some steel balls. Fair strategy. We need some single target goodness now. We could... I don't think a Phoenix is a good call, given that they have Mustangs. That seems like a really bad call. Um, we could go for more damage on our shooters here, but that doesn't seem very smart either. Um, rhinos would not be good. What would be good against these things, I wonder? Right now, it looks like we're going to succeed, because they're going to get, like, stun-locked. And the, these guys can't do anything to my arc like Storm. So really, the only thing I can think of is getting like a freaking laser beam. 
I guess, you know what? Actually, a fortress does really well in this situation. Maybe we do a... Let's do a skip here. Let's unlock the fortress and buy it. I have faith in the fortress. Um, then I want to buy another unit. I always want to be buying a unit. Let's get one in the far kind of rear to just keep piling through. And I want some upgrades, particularly on these arc lights, because they have the armor upgrade that will keep getting better. Okay, he did get some artillery on this side. That is totally fair. He's going for a ton of these guys. He's going for more damage. Is that 200% damage here? 50% uh, more damage. Still, they do 48 damage, and these guys do a ton, so... I think we're good. This shouldn't hit... Uh, it did hit one. And that immediately killed all of those storm crawlers. So, good stuff by them, for sure. At least our fortress here is taking them out. Right now, we have that second wave of crawlers, which is holding them off. But, unfortunately, there's just too much here for our, our fortress to chew through, I would imagine. Oh, but they are going on this arc light first, so... That helps. That certainly helps. We Do we have the speed bonus? Yeah, yeah, we do. So these arc lights are getting up there. And now they just can't kill me because I got anti, anti whatever the hell they have going on. So I think fortresses with armor are the play right now. And also fortresses that produce fangs. That would be pretty nasty as well. Hard to say. Junior manufacturing, nah, man. We get the amplifying core for sure. We get another fortress. This one gets the amplification. I think they get the armor. And then you, you, you. And I want to keep things messy. So let's keep getting crawlers and maybe squirreling them away back here. Um, well, I want to make sure that they end up kind of where the steel balls are. So maybe just another wave here in the middle. And these guys can get upgraded as well. Let's get, um, fangs upgrade just in case we end up making a fang manufacturing. Okay, they got healing stuff. That's fine by me. I might go, uh, anti, anti-technology on them. We'll see. They're buying more missiles. I don't love the missile buy. I really don't. I mean, it's killing some extra stuff over here. An extra storm caller, but... I don't know. Storm caller's initial volley isn't that helpful anyway. Alright. Fortress. Doing the thing. Q. Keep them off you. The, the, fat, the crawler slowly going in over time really does a lot for us, I imagine. We have the armor bonus, so this guy is going to be able to hold strong here. And even though these guys are healing, uh, they're going to have to restart doing this one. So if it wasn't for the fact that we've been overwhelmed because we, we didn't have enough fortress on our side, you know, it is what it is. What we need is uh, probably the tech one, the tech disabling thing. Look at these guys. Even with the... Uh, even with the debuff, we are working hard here. Yeah, just the damage is too low when they have the heal. Now, how much health do they have? 13,000, basically 14,000. And how much... Ooh, heavy armor. How much is this worth? 15,000. I mean, that would blow them up. That would blow them up. Yeah, let's go for it. More health, more blowing things up. I think that this is a good round. I mean, the disabling tech that I've been talking about, and then more missile launchers, kind of in the middle here. A little bit, a little bit to the rear, hoping that they kind of end up targeting center. They're getting explosive shells here to kill crawlers, which is totally fair. Absolutely what they should do. Look, see how much that chewed up that kind of mess? Thankfully, the missiles are going over top. And then there's the anti-tech shots. We just need more crawlers on these flanks next. Like, the tech 
the the disabling of their technology I think is insanely good for us right now you can see that really working out they just need to clear out these flanks don't go for my base don't do it don't do it here they do it oh no again though at least so much focus is on this fortress and this one here too right like they are absolutely doing the tank that they need to do here we go baby yeah i'll speed up with you brother try and kill my fortress i dare you okay um yeah now i guess we just buy range and stuff i don't know damage is nice photon emission also seems nice but it's for 16 seconds it's just not that much but that's fine okay let's upgrade these guys they're very expensive but now they are freaking awesome we get all of this we get our fortress on this flank Seems to be where they're getting through right now. I was gonna buy extended range, but I guess it's not needed. Um, another arc light might be okay. Kinda just chilling. And then yeah, you guys just get the uh, get the anti damage here. Okay, he's going air units. I mean, look, I have literally nothing for anti air. So, I'm glad that he made the, the change. He's got a lot of things that he could do with that anti-air time. I guess it just makes me need to go Phoenix, or... Uh, or, I could go for the laser. The giant laser. Single target lord. And we do have a lot of tank. I mean, even with this air dominance, I mean, we are absolutely doing what's got to be done here like the amount of tankiness so much tankiness actually insano like can he even get through my units like nah man that was the, that was the the fist punch right there and all air units i mean dude my, my guys are grouping up for him to shoot, unfortunately. He only has 660 health left, though. Looks like I'm going to do 400 damage, or no? We're both going to take some damage here. Uh, he said, never mind. What did he say? Timer will probably run out. Never mind. Yeah, well, close enough, dude. Hacker. Mass produced melting point. But no. Smoke bomb is good. Smoke bomb, like right down kind of the center field here. Let's get these upgrades because these units fought hard. They deserve it. And then, yeah, I guess melting point with extended range and then melting point. I wouldn't mind, like, if they were right on the front line, but I really don't want them to get targeted, so... For now, maybe we put them just kind of off center. So they're still kind of hidden in the crowd. And then we buy everyone extended range. Let's buy a loan and. I don't know. An anti missile barrage would be nice. So he did buy missile, a missile here. We got this. Oh, that did shoot his missile down. Yo, that was sick. And he has the anti-gun, like the anti-turret, right? The anti-ground turret. I love that for him. Oh, he did a thing behind. Yo, laser pointer. Yo, that was massive for me. This guy's getting super outplayed. Just because I got lucky with an extended range melting point. But I'll take it. It's a good fight. Melting points with extended range when you buy the range buff are uh, are certainly something. 2,500 <laughs> extra damage. Actually, insano. We were supposed to win that run, though, so 
What can I say? 14. We're not even up to 1500 MMR anymore. That's so sad. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time, Trapper.